What's up guys, it's Max Merck, and today I'm going to be doing a little video on my friend's Mark 7.5 GTI. Uh, it's my friend Ilya, that's his car, and that's my friend Chase from the E55 video. So the guys are over at OB11 were kind enough to send me one of their devices. Um, that's it right here. They sent the uh, easier move one with the little ring that you can detach or take it out of the um, OBD port really quickly. Alright, so as you know on most VWs it's the little pink OBD port, pinkish purple one and that little red LED turns on. To code it, you have to go to apps. Pop trunk via remote. Oh. And what happens if you click it now? Does it just pop open? It doesn't open. So when you do this, what it'll do is it'll just pop it like yeah. you do. I'm pretty, look. But you, you have to have like the, the little springs that comes with it, you have to have those installed for it to actually go ahead and pop it open. But that's still completely open. It. <laughs> you wanna try it? Try it. Hold to right value. Oh, you have to hold it to activate it. Now hold the check. Success. All right. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, All right. Uh, we're going to turn on the Windows function with remote on. So it turns out you get one credit to start with, and then we just put in a code for 200 because it's the pro version. Okay. So now we have 191. All right, let's try it out. Hey, what do you know? Useful feature. So, do you want when you unlock the car, do the lights turn on? Yeah. Do you want it to be the fog lights or low beam? Low beam. Or, yeah. Fog lights? The ones that are, are right. Yeah, low beam. Low beam. Because my low beams are really nice. Much better than my than fog the old lights. One. Video in motion. Allows the passenger to watch video. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Some laws do not allow this and it can be very no. dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's go Ooh. and turn it on. Was it on? A hundred credits? No! <laughs> god damn it! <laughs> Why did it just no. say so? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. Let's see the mirror dip. That's actually really useful. Right now, when he puts in reverse, nothing happens. Right, well, let's go for it. Okay, success. Oh, you have to enable it with car display. Mirrors and wipers. Oh. Lowering reverse. Hey, so this wasn't there before though. Yeah, so this was not like, mm -hmm. this was not there before. Now it's there. Enable mirror to put the car display, sit mirrors, engage R manually, move the mirror to the position. Oh, 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 put it in reverse, put it in reverse. Right. It's like Mercedes, put it in reverse and then adjust the mirrors where you want it to be now. Do it so you can see the curb. Reverse. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the high intensity brake light. Let's go ahead and turn that on. I mean, you, you do a lot of hard braking, so. <laughs> You're gonna need that. So now we're testing out the high intensity brake light. So basically on hard braking, what's gonna happen is it's gonna flash the hazards. It worked. Like right Basic now? settings of transmission. Well, I mean, this is pretty useful if you service your own car. If you service your own car. What is XDS interaction? All right. Expanded Ooh. electronic differential lock. What is that? Look, That's, look it up. You have a limited slip differential. Yeah. Seatbelt warning. No. Okay. It's not. It's waste. Because we only have 72 left now. So guys, after about an hour of messing with the OBD11, we basically did um, we basically did the pop trunk via remote. So we didn't buy the actual like uh, equipment, the hardware you need to like fully open it. But now when you hold the button, it'll pop it, and then you can manually do it. I don't know how useful that is, but um, it's there. And then the window function with the remote. So now if you hold the unlock button, it'll roll the windows down. If you hold the lock button, it'll close all the windows and sunroof. Video in motion. This was a hundred. <laughs> we spent a hundred credits on this. This is basically when you have a DVD in, you can watch the DVD while driving. Mirror dip. So basically, when you put when you put the mirror into the right setting, just like with you know a lot of other German cars, when you put it in reverse, it folds down, and when you put it back into drive and drive away, it goes back up. But it only works when the mirror setting is in the right position. And then, as I said, high intensity brake light when you hit the brakes really hard it flashes the third brake light and hazards so basically all in all this is a pretty good device for those who like to work on their own volkswagen audi product or um you know do their own servicing because you can adjust a lot of the you know like the service lights and uh, a lot of the parameters of the car through this app but as far as coding wise goes i mean this is a pretty optioned out gti 
Um, so it already had a lot of the features. So once again, thanks to OBD11 for sending out this device and uh, I'll put a link in the description below to their website. And if you guys enjoyed this video, thanks for watching and stay tuned.